That's a good point. But, well, now we can shift out of the entertainment talk. Oh, my God. I'm just <laughs> oh, oh, this entertainment talk. Look, we got to talk about sports because there's a sports. lot of sports happening here. There's a lot of sports happening here. here but, look, are. our boy, last week we talked about Noah Lyles. Mm. Who has the last laugh now? Oh. So, in the oh. FIBA championship, um, the Americans, I mean, they lost against Lithuania, so that was a shock to them. Was, wasn't maybe a shock to to a lot of people that follow the basketball. Uh-huh. But, I mean, we were watching it last night, and I told you that I felt that Germany were going to win, right? They co- So, anyway, the Germans beat the Americans, and shock horror, everyone in America by is... By two points. Is crestfallen. Yeah, yeah but by 50 points. Like, they, they, <laughs> they won. They won. Um, yeah. And, obviously, the Americans are just just uh, distraught. Shaken. But, but uh, I think Noah Lyles has had his last laugh. The, yeah. uh, the NBA... Champions. Oh, it can't be world champions off the back of that. Like it feels like uh, there was a time when there is still this expectation that Americans, especially in basketball, have to win everything. Right? Yes, yes, that's it. Yes, um, and I think for those that actually watch team basketball, which is like not proper basketball, but like FIBA basketball is, is inclined towards team basketball, it wasn't a surprise. I definitely wasn't sort of mm. wasn't surprised to see it. And we have two European teams, Serbia without uh, Jokic, mm. uh, so without their best NBA players. <laughs> Are going to be in the finals and settling for bronze. We have good old Canada, <laughs> Canada, Canada, we and got the, the North. US. We got the North Americas. So that should be interesting. So, th- so that's an interesting point. Uh, who's in the US finals? Like none of the Americans made it. It's not been a good week for America. Oh, uh, pivoting to US Open. So they just had the semis for the men's uh, today slash last night for America, and so we have. Uh, Novak Djokovic, who beat Ben Shelton, who was the last American standing. Sorry, Blake Shelton, right? Ben Shelton. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. Ben Shelton. Uh, and uh, Daniil Medvedev took out 2022 champion Carlos wow. Alcaraz. Wow, but he yes, said, but wow. He said last week he's a dark horse. Yep, yep, you and did. it looks like, hof- well, hopefully he might get another notch and uh, replicate 2021, his win against Djokovic. That would be really nice. That would, would be, be nice. really nice. I'm sensing like a pattern here. Europeans beating the Americans. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> the continents have shifted. The power balance. So, Honestly. yeah, sorry, you were saying? No, I just, I, I, um, we all know about my thoughts and feelings about Djokovic. Like, look, don't get me it wrong. Is, it is, I mean, it is. He's a one lot of, of the greatest share. of all time. I go, will say go, that go. objectively. He was not p- the goat, the goat. But no. a goat. He's part uh, of the big three goat. for a reason. <laughs> yeah. But, yes. but again, talk about kind of. The persona and the, the image. The persona that he puts and just forward. the image. And, and don't get me wrong, Medvedev has had his time in, oh, in, in yes. the sun as well. But, He's just so funny. <laughs> like, he's just really well, funny to me. Well, in terms of what she's referring to, uh, at the end of uh, Djokovic and Shelton's match, yeah. so Ben Shelton, during all of his matches, he's had this the uh, phone thing, sign right? off of the phone, which is what does that even meant mean? to be... It's meant to be a connection to one of his college mates and also, uh, like, signifying that you're dialed in, basically, into the match. Inside joke. Such an Inside joke sort it's of nice. thing. It's and cute. And so at the end of uh, the semis between Shelton and Djokovic, Djokovic, uh, in his victory, copied uh, the phone. One. <laughs> copied the phone. What a standard <laughs> so, I, I love, move I love that he's petty. I actually love that he's I petty. I it. I love it. It makes it entertaining. The sports he is not entertaining. He doesn't do petty as well as Medvedev. <laughs> Be real. Medvedev is, is Russian, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, well, they're they're born with pettiness. <laughs> <laughs> you, you said we the love same our thing Russian pants. I don't know. Do we? I don't know. Uh, no, we do. We do. So we yeah, do. look, the tennis that's happening. That should be interesting. Who who, who do you think is going to win? It's got to be Djokovic. Let's keep it real. Come on. I'm Medvedev hoping, ain't going to win. I'm gonna hoping win. for Medvedev. Um, but also, well, shout out as well to the women's uh, final, yeah, which is going that? to be Coco Goff, who hey. I also mentioned. She's actually the last standing American. Uh, is one of the youngest, the youngest American uh, since Serena Williams. You're right. So it's history, hopefully in the making. She will be going against Arena Sabalenka, oh. and Sabalenka has been in quite a few finals yeah, in has. all the previous Grand Slams. Mm. And actually, what's an interesting thing as well is that with both of these finals, the previous number ones, uh, who are also the 2022 champions, so Carlos Alcaraz and Iga Swiatek, they're both knocked out and they're both losing their number one <gasps> slot. 
So it's up for grabs within this game. Is that what they're playing for as oh, well? Oh, no. Uh, no, so Sabalenka, she's going to become number one. Oh, regardless. Well, regardless of. if she wins or not. Yeah, okay. And um, Djokovic, I believe, it will become number one regardless yeah. or not. It's going to be Djokovic. But let's go, let's go, Medvedev, your hardcore specialist. Well, well, what do you call the <laughs> little <go>. cat? <laughs> All right, let, let's switch gears to the NRL. Look, I'm a Brisbane Broncos supporter. Let me get Here the camera up. Let's, let's get the we camera. We could leave the room let technically the while, <laughs> while he starts okay, going. Okay, okay. You know what? You know what? I'm going to put a PSA out there. It's been. You took a photo. Yeah, I took a photo. That's how excited I am about this segment. For you Broncos supporters out there, look at me. Look at me when I talk to you. I know it's been a hard slog. Time. It's been five, six what years. Time? I don't know what it is, all right? But this is our year with Reese Walsh at the helm. Listen, we, we're losing some of these guys, right? We've got to win it this year. The Broncos were fantastic against the Melbourne Storm. I know there was a civil war happening here and we couldn't watch it in the same room because obviously dad goes for the Melbourne Storm and I go for the winning team, you know, the Brisbane Broncos. But they are amazing at the moment. They're peaking. Chubby Reynolds, the best thing about the game was watching him not score that try because <laughs> that he's uh, picked trot as, as, as someone legs. who did co-watch that, that was absolutely amazing. Uh, they are peaking at the right time. And you know what? At this time, Penrith have smacked the Warriors 32-6. Look, it has to be a Brisbane and Penrith final. It ha these two teams deserve it. They're equally the best team. And it's going to be the Brisbane Broncos. So look, put your money down. Put the mortgage to the house on it. You, you know wow. we're gonna win it. That is you know we're gonna win it. This is uh, not not sound this advice. This is financial sound advice. advice. No, it's not. <laughs> Bet within your limits. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, you, you use my William Hill affiliate <laughs> oh, link at the bottom. Oh my goodness gracious! No, gamble responsibly. <laughs> or, just, or don't gamble. Don't gamble. Who don't gamble. gamble. You shouldn't be gambling. Full stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just watch it for recreational purposes. Like, that's, it, that's it. This is this is infotainment. infotainment. He um he's been waiting to kind of clearly say this the whole entire time. Yes. Right? This is he's yeah. been he's been. This is my moment. Very to go. It was yeah, my moment yeah, yeah, yeah. for the Broncos, guys. This has been a great podcast. Uh, I don't want to be here again. <laughs> 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 I, I, feel, I feel like the six men of I've been rearing to get out. <laughs> that, that, that little trotter over there has kept me moving. That but what can we do to message. support the channel? T tell, tell the guys like, comment. subscribe, oh. comment, ring that bell, ring that bell for all the notifications and all the latest that comes through our uh, channel. Check out on Spotify for the audio version of We're the on Spotify, episode. Spotify guys. I mean, if you're if you're in the car, you should not be watching the YouTube. But but still subscribe though. Give, give exactly. us the views. And Watch yeah, on going back to the comment, tell us what you think about all of these wonderful Chime topics. Chime in on any of the topics. Who do you think is going to win for all these finals? For all of these things that for are sport. happening. That's it. Bye. Bye. Bye.